Good morning, everyone, and happy Easter. Jesus is risen. Jesus is risen indeed. Yes, indeed he is. What a wonderful morning to celebrate the fact, the mystery of Easter, the fact that Jesus died and God made him alive again. Thank you, Reese, for that beautiful song that you sang for us. Andreas and I have a really exciting story this morning, and we have some very special guests today to help us tell the story. What does our story symbol say? Or what, what does the best the, day ever. Yeah, we're going to tell the story of the best day ever. That's right. And what's on our story symbol this morning, Andreas? I just put a little bit closer. Good job. Thank you, honey. Okay, so let's take a look at this story symbol. Look at it. It goes this way. What's on there? This is a tomb. A tomb is a special place for the dead. And that's where Jesus' body went when he died. And there's a rock here that's been rolled away from that tomb. That's what's in our Easter story symbol this morning, boys and girls. So before we have our special guests help us tell the story, we need to get ready. How do we get ready? We greet one another by saying, the Lord be with you. And also be with you. Very good. We are ready. Let's listen to our Easter story this morning with our very special guest. It was the worst day ever. Mary heart was sad. Jesus was dead. Would she ever feel happy again? Mary went to the place where they took Jesus' body. She peeked inside, but it was hard to see. Too many tears filled her eyes. Mary tried to blink her tears away. There, right in front of her, were two angels. Why are you crying? they asked. Because Jesus is gone, she said, and Mary began to cry again. Someone else spoke to Mary. Why are you crying? Who are you looking for? asked the stranger. Mary, that's all the stranger said. And that's when Mary knew it was Jesus. Teacher, she shouted. Go tell my friends that I'm alive, said Jesus. Mary's sad tears turned into a happy smile. She ran to tell Jesus' friends the good news. Jesus is alive, Jesus is alive. It's the best day ever. Yay! That was such a good job from our special guests. Thank you for helping us tell the story of the mystery of Easter. We have our tomb here and Jesus and here's Mary. And what do you have, Andreas? I have the rock. The rock that was rolled away on Easter morning, right? And Mary was so worried about where Jesus' body was, wasn't she? And she was sad, sad, sad. She was very sad. Yes, she was. She was crying. That's Mary Magdalene, isn't it? And she was crying because Jesus was her friend and she went into the tomb and she didn't see his body. Yes, so she was wondering if other people could help her. And then Jesus came along and called her by name. And then she, she called her by name? Yes, and then she knew, didn't she? She knew that it was Jesus. 
So we are very, very happy today that Jesus died, but God made him alive again. Can you come over here and have a seat? We have one more special guest coming to be with us today, Andreas. Yes. Yes. There are so many things that I'm sure you have planned to do with your family to celebrate the mystery of Easter at home. And one of the ways that you can celebrate the mystery of Easter and thank God that he left his son for us um, is to pray, isn't it, Andreas? That's one way we have to say thank you. And I'm sure all of you boys and girls are going to pray to, to God and thank him today for the wonderful mystery of Easter. We have one more special guest who is going to help us say a prayer this morning. Happy Easter, everyone. It's so good to be with you today, even in this way. If we can't be together in person, then this is the next best way. And I hope that you and your family will be able to celebrate a happy Easter together. Even though we can't do all the things that we might normally do, we can still find new ways to be able to celebrate that Jesus who died on the cross is raised again to new life and that because of that, we always have hope. Well, let's join together in having a prayer. Let us pray. Just like the sun rising in the morning chases away the darkness of night, so your risen presence with us, Lord Jesus, chases away the pain of our tears and sadness. When you call our name in love, as you did with Mary, and you invite us to walk with you, we discover that totally surprising things can happen. Even things we thought were impossible, you are able to make possible. Having you as our holy friend and guide turns each day into an exciting new Easter adventure with hope. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye for now. Thank you to all of our special guests this morning, and happy Easter, everyone. Christ is risen. Jesus is risen indeed. He is. Bye, everyone.